Now we want to focus on the tip of the racket right here. As I take the racket back right now, the tip of the racket is still pointing up. But take a look at what happens now. As I lower the racket, all of a sudden now the tip of the racket is pointing more to the right side. The racket is going to continue to move down and now moving forward and look what happens to the tip of the racket. It is laid back and now pointing to the left side so completely to the other side. And you can see that I've built up an extreme angle here between the racket and my forearm. So the angle is now going to release and that's that rubber band effect that I talked about. You can see that the tip of the racket is now catching up and the angle has completely changed now. I've, from here I continue to move forward and upward and then over to the left side which of course is only a natural release. You do not want to try to pull the racket over to the left.